I don't know what else can prove it to you. That's that's sort of my icing on the cake right there. At this point, I should just start calling it your weekly dose of Wonderland because it has seemed like every week or multiple times a week at this point, there is a new Wonderland video. But as you can see, we are back here today at Wonderland and look at the lines right now. This is the line to get into the park. It is all the way down there already. So this is looking crazy. So we're gonna stir things up a little bit today. We're actually gonna go try and buy a Fastlane Plus and we're gonna see if it really helps us get through the lines and if it's actually worth it for you to buy it when you come down to Canada's Wonderland. So let's go try and wait through this line. We'll see how long it takes and head into the bar. These lines out here just keep getting more insane and insane. And what these lines are for is these are actually just a cutoff so that they're limiting the amount of people in here just so that it is not an absolute mosh pit really, which is insane because look how long these lines are gonna get. And it is literally maybe 10 minutes after the park opened. Wow. Something I do wanna make aware is that that line looked really, really long, but from where we were standing, we got in line at 10.06, as I said, and we just got through right now, it is 10.19. So it only took us about 13 to 14 minutes to actually get through that whole process and get to the front of the line and actually now into the park. So we're gonna head over to the fast lane booth and see how long that is because I'm sure that will be an outrageous line as well. But for now, we're just trying to head over to Leviathan like probably 98% of other people are. So just walking up right now, the fast lane line is not looking bad at all. It is really only just in this queue right here. Previously, so last week, the fast lane line was here and then it went all the way down around to that building over there. So that's really good to know today that the fast lane line is back to normal and you won't be waiting 40 to 50 minutes just to grab your fast pass. Look at this current line for Leviathan. It goes all the way down here. It actually wraps around back to the speedway. It goes all the way around and through the entire queue. So this is absolute madness at its finest, if you were to ask me. The amount of people just in this plaza and in this midway is ridiculous right now. Like, it is crazy, crazy busy. Fast lanes are coming up pretty clutch. Leviathan has a two plus hour line right now. But, um, you know, we got on, or we're about to get on in about six or seven minutes. So that's so good. As you can see from a few clips ago, the Leviathan line is currently around the back of the queue, out of the queue, full queue, madness, and it is at least going to be an hour and a half to two hours right now, which is crazy because the dispatches are not the best. But we did go in the fast lane line and we got on in literally eight minutes. So that kind of saved us right there. So, so far it's looking really, really good and worth it. Can I be in your vlog? Yeah, what's up? Yo! 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 Just to really show you how busy it is today, that's Wild Beast. It should not have a line at 10.30 in the morning, but it is literally a full queue and all the way out. There is just more and more people that keep coming in the park and it is crazy, crazy busy here today once again. This year, if you want to buy a fast lane, it is going to run you $95 and that is just for a regular fast lane. That does not include Leviathan, Behemoth, or Yukon Striker, the top main three rides. So if you want a fast lane plus, which does include the top three rides, then it's going to run you $105. And that's not like a group all you can use pass. That is for each single person in your group is going to need one of those. So if you come with a family of four and you buy four $105 Fastlane Pluses, that is going to add up pretty darn quickly. So I think it's the only really way it's worth it is if you're coming on a single day admission ticket and say you're coming from like out of town or Collingwood or somewhere like that and you're here for one day, it kind of does become worth it because you used to be able to come at 10 a.m., get as many rides as you can in the first two hours and move on with your day. But this year, the lines are just insanely jam-packed even from 10 a.m. So you're kind of going to be screwed either way unless you get a fast lane. So it's kind of your only option. And if you're a season's pass holder and you come all the time and you feel like not waiting in lines, you can buy an all season fast lane for $499. And that's basically every single time you come, you just scan your phone or your pass and then they give you a fast lane. Well, that's $500 on top of your already $100 pass. And that's just adding up to be really, really expensive. So it's kind of crazy at that point, but it did sell out this year the first time. This is their second batch. So it's kind of crazy, but a lot of people are buying it and it might be an option that you want to look into. I just want to take a second to thank you guys for all the crazy support on every single Wonderland video that I have posted this year. You guys have been blowing up like every single one and it's so great. And if you're not subscribed and you've been watching a bunch of these videos, what are you doing? Well, subscribe. Do you guys want to subscribe too? I'm doing a plug right now. Just scan this QR. All right, thanks, boys. See ya. See, they just subscribed, so you should tell you which one. Uh, you walked around and showed all the lines. Get here at 9.30. That was me. That's awesome. <laughs> job, thank you so much. See ya. 
I got distracted by people coming out to me before, so I had to restart this because I lost my train of thought. But if you guys have been enjoying these Wonderland videos, make sure you do please subscribe. It really does help me out a ton to keep creating these videos and show you guys the best tips and tricks of Wonderland and all around the city. So make sure you pause this video, go down, hit subscribe right now. I really do appreciate it. This is currently Vortex's line, full queue. We take our fast lanes, walk right in. Vortex somehow seems to always be a full queue, even for the fast lane. This is all the way out the end right now. As you can probably see behind me, I don't know if you can or not, but the Vortex line is around an hour right now. We talked to people in line and we got on with our fast lanes in about 12 minutes, I'd say it was. So that's super worth it and it's already looking really, really beneficial to me personally. Something I have started to notice now that it's around 11.30 a.m., so an hour and a half after the park open, is that the fast lane lines are not just really walk-ons anymore. They're starting to get upwards of the 15 to 20 minutes, which is obviously still 10 times shorter than the normal lines are, but the lines are starting to pick up. So if you are getting fast lane, don't think it's okay to come at two or three o'clock and get all your rides in. Make sure you still are coming at the 10 o'clock right on the dot or 9.30 to make sure you avoid those insane lines at the front and can get your big period of time with your fast lanes essentially being like walk-ons. Right now, Yukon Striker is through both tents out here and all the way down there. So we're gonna hop in to the fast lane line and see how long it takes us to get through when the normal queue is two plus hours right now. We've been waiting around five minutes and we got to the front of the row two and three queue on Yukon. So once we merged, it took about one train to get to the front and now we're here. So I'd say that's pretty worth it so far. I didn't want this to be my verdict, but we just waited about 10 minutes and got a end seat ride on Yukon Striker. This is the line right now. It's first of all, full these tent through these tents and then all the way out here. And we just went in the fast lane, walked right up and got on in less than 10 minutes. So I'm sorry, but if that's not, if that doesn't seem worth it to you, like, I don't, I don't know what else can prove it to you. That's, that's sort of my icing on the cake right there. The Which one? one? The cliff jumping one? Yeah, that's sick. Thanks guys. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Yeah. You guys want to say hi for the video? Yeah. Yo, thanks for saying hi. All right. Enjoy your day. See you later. Today has honestly been pretty surreal because I think there's been, th no, at least four or five occasions where people came out to me and they actually knew who I was or watched my past videos. So I just want to say, if you guys ever do see me out and about in the park, literally in the city, anywhere, always make sure to say hi because it literally does make my day and I really appreciate it. Daniel just literally ran onto Mindbuster and it took him eight minutes, I'd say, to get on and off because there is no fast lane line, no fast lane line at all. Behemoth's line is looking pretty average right now. It's just one full tent, so it's not too bad, but um, the fast lane line does look absolutely dead right now, so I'm gonna head up there and I will let you guys know how long it takes, but for now, looking like it is really worth it here as well. 3K subs. <laughs> 3K subs, thanks for subscribing. Behemoth is an absolutely huge queue right now. How long have you guys waited in line for? Waiting in line? Yeah, what do you say? 25 minutes. 25? Oh, okay, that's it. Okay, so we're doing a good job, but the fast lane line is also a walk-on right now. We just got off Behemoth, and I got a text from my mom that says, there's currently a bigger line for pizza than there was for you to get on Behemoth. So if that doesn't show you something, it should, because we literally walked on and off in Behemoth. It took us like two or three minutes in line, one or two trains, and we got right on. So again, fast lane proving itself. Now we are gonna check out fast lane on Backlot Stunt Coaster. This line, once again, looks like it is a full queue, yet the fast lane line is a walk-on. Seems like that's been a really big trend today, where the fast lane lines are a absolute walk-on and everything else is really huge. So yeah, going great for us. There are two things I can tell you are always consistent about Backlot Sun Coaster. Actually, three. One, you will get an intense ride. Two, it will be a full queue. And three, the fast lane line is really short usually. So we basically walked right on and yeah, we had a good, nice, intense ride and we're on and off. Like we walked into the line and now we're off within a matter of less than 10 minutes once again when it is a full queue. So honestly, such a plus and fast lane for me today has been really worth it and I think might be one of the best options to go with at Canada's Wonderland this year. Today is an insanely hot day, so make sure if you're here on a really hot day, come by and stop by the Coca-Cola refresh station and get misted. Gio, thank you guys. All right, let's go. So right now it is about 1.30 and the Leviathan fast lane line is all the way down the stairs around here and then it loops back around there. So definitely don't come 
around one to two o'clock expecting that you're just gonna walk onto everything because even the fast lane lines at these points are going to be upwards of half an hour. It's kind of crazy that you're gonna pay $105 a person to get right on the rides and then you're still gonna end up waiting 30 to 40 minutes. Insane, so make sure if you do wanna get the most out of your fast lane, start here at 10 a.m. right when the park opens and keep using that fast lane again and again because the lines are just gonna get longer and longer. So I think by the rest of this video, you're probably able to self come to the conclusion that I think Fastlane is definitely worth it if you're going to be here for a single day. If you have a season's pass and you're coming here all the time, it then becomes not the biggest deal to wait in lines because you can go hang out with your friends. Just think of the line time as just socializing time and hanging out with your friends. Like come with a good group of people and you'll be all set. So just be aware that the lines are long and you are going to have to wait in lines. If you do want to see another video where I just show the full lines basically for 10 minutes of what's going on, click right here and then click right here to subscribe, view all my other Wonderland videos and everything that is going on in the, the city of Toronto. So thank you guys so much and I will see you in the next video. Bye.